everyone. Time for the two-year anniversary checkup on the supercapacitor hybrid car battery. So the car has not ran for a few days, probably about three, and it is December 27th, 2019. So it's actually been a year and two or three days since my last review and checkup on it. So let's come on over here, see if we can get a better focus this time than last year of the battery. And it ain't gonna show up at all, is it? Nah, it does not want to focus on it, but it says 13.1 volts. Normally it's sitting at 13.2, but since it's been a few days, it went down. So let's unlock the car. There we go. And let's start it on up. And you can see it does drop a little faster now. We're down to 12.5, but then it just sits there, 12.5. So let me switch hands here. Still starts perfectly fine. And let's pop the hood just to prove, yes, it's still running on the super cap. And there it is, dirty again after one year. So let it run for a few minutes, top off the battery, and uh, I will yank it out and we will go down to the bench and see what it's all made of still okay so here we are on the bench again let's get one year's worth of junk off it because this year i have not touched this battery at all as soon as i put it back in the car i haven't fiddled with it at all so this is one year of just leaving it alone and letting it do its job let's see if it's uh still dry inside so pop open one Two. Seal still feels good. Seal looks dry. Everything inside looks dry. Here's a desk kit pack, and they're still pretty dry. And here's the third one. Yep, they're all good. So it stayed dry in here, and everything's good. So, yep, no burn smell, no nothing, at least from a first visual inspection. So let's check the super caps right now. 13.35, cool. Let's check the first one here. 264. 267. 269. 268. Okay. Oh, wait, no, one more. <laughs> 266. 267. Okay, that's cool. Let's check the second string. 263. 267, 268, 269, and 268. That's pretty good still, considering there's no balancing on these super caps. So let's go ahead and hook it up to a power supply and charge them up to 14 and a half volts, which is the max of what the car alternator usually puts out, especially on a cold day. So. Okay, we're pretty much there. Let's check the super caps now and see where they're sitting at. So, let's go first. 2.87, perfect. Remember, these are three volt caps. Come on, give me the connection. There we go. 2.9, perfectly fine. 2.91. 2.92. Two point eight nine. That's absolutely perfect. Let's check the second string. And this is basically making sure that the uh, super caps don't get out of balance too much, and end up overvolting when the engine's running and it's constantly keeping a trickle charge on them. Two point nine one. Two point nine two. That's probably the high one here, and we still are perfectly within margin of error there. 2.90. Okay, so the super caps voltage wise are fine. So let's do a low test on them now. Give me a second to get that set up. Okay, we're set for the capacity test on the super caps now. And um, we're going to go by watt hours. Now, last year we got 5.67 watt hours. So that's our 
comparison. So let's go ahead and give this a shot if I can do it without knocking everything over. Oh, I changed the screen. Let's go back while it runs. There we go. Let's crank it up here. 82 watts, 112 watts, 127. This can handle 185 watts. Let's get it on up there. And that's pretty much maximum. 178 watts. It will slowly come down. And you can see the voltage right here dropping. We're going to take it all the way down to 1 volt again. One volt. Okay, so we had 5.67 last year. We got 5.52. So that's within a margin of error. I would say, chances are, if these degraded at all, it's extremely minimal. And that's with starting a four-cylinder, two-liter Kia Soul for a year, almost every day, and sometimes multiple times a day. So, yeah, these super caps have really held up. So, let's retool and we'll start topping off the battery here, and then we'll do a capacity test on the lithium iron phosphate 12 volt 10 amp hour battery and see how much this is degraded, especially since this is more sensitive to heat and this has been underneath the hood all year long. Okay, so. This time I topped off the battery. I can't remember if I actually topped off the battery last year or not, but regardless, we got 103 watt hours out of a 120 watt hour battery. So we're gonna compare that and we're gonna do the same thing we did last year and put a three amp load on it and let it run until it hits 11 volts. That's the cutoff point. So let's go ahead and get that started here. We get three amps rolling. Close enough, 3.03 .03 amps. So we're gonna be looking at the watt hours down here and seeing what we get. So I will be back in about mm, three, three and a half hours at least for this to discharge. <clears throat> okay, so the battery protection just came on at 11.4, a little bit higher than it usually does, but we have zero volts now and that's because the MOSFET on the protection board on here has physically shut off the discharge power. So we're not getting anything else out of it. So if I get this thing to shut off for one second, you'll see we got 103 watt hours, basically the same we got last year. So this battery has not degraded at all. So I'll show you right now real quick before, um, let's see if I can get this stuff off of here first. How you wake up a battery that the protection's gone on. There we go. And we just give it some voltage. Turn it on. Voila. We got 13.7. Now let me turn off the power supply. And you'll see now the battery's woken up again now. So that was just a surface charge at 12.2. But we got the same result. So this battery has not degraded. So let's put this back on here. Let's turn the amperage down and do a slower charge here. Because I have it set for 12 amp charge. Let's do a 3 amp charge as well. Okay, we are fully charged back up to 14 and a half volts, as you can see right here. So I'm gonna turn off the bench power supply. You'll see it starts dropping a little bit. So now, before we connect the supercast, we need to recharge them up to 14 and a half volts, roughly. So, let's move stuff around. There we go. Okay, let's change this to 12 amp charge. That's about as much as my power supply can do. And here we go. 36, 37 watts, and of course, as the voltage comes up, the wattage will come up. We're up to 40 watts. This will probably take about a minute and a half to two minutes to charge it. Okay, we're pretty much there, and that probably took about two, maybe two and a half minutes. I wasn't really timing it, so let's unplug here, get that out of the way, turn off the benchtop power supply, disconnect that, turn that off, and now we should be able to reconnect the battery with no sparks nothing whatsoever because the voltages are practically matched so there's not really a lot of current flow going through here so let's get this out of the way bring this back on over here oh wait hold on gotta put the desk kit packs back in just in case i mean i don't think there's been any leaks in here so far but it's a great easy way to protect against moisture damage so close that one up close that up 
close that up. Now it's ready to go back into the car. So this concludes our two year checkup on the hybrid supercapacitor car battery. Um, no degradation whatsoever, at least from what I could tell. Uh, everything's within the margin of error of like what, one, two, three percent. Actually, the battery tested out perfectly from what it was last year, and the super caps went down what, one percent, if that. So, yeah, I'll call that up to a margin of error or testing variances. So, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up is appreciated and i will see you with this video series around christmas 2020 for the three-year update